A ROS unit is a remote automatic weather station. And the way it works is we deploy these throughout the country. There are permanent and portables. They work off of a 12 volt battery with a 20 watt solar panel. They have an air temperature, relative humidity, solar radiation, a tipping bucket to gather just rain, wind speed and a wind direction. And some of them have a fuel moisture and fuel temperature sensor and some have soil moisture and soil temperature sensors. They transmit it up to NOAA GOES satellite, GOES R in the west, and GOES 13 in the east. And from there, the data is transmitted back down to Earth in several places. One of the places it's transmitted is here at NIFSI. We have what is called a direct ground readout system. It takes the data from the satellite, sends it over to one of our servers, and from there goes to a program called WIFMI, NIFSI development, and we take that data and distribute it out across the United States. There are over 2,000 RAWs. We actually calibrate sensors for about 1,700 of them here at the fire center. The data, once it is in with me, is transmitted out to NOAA, the Alaska Fire Service, is transmitted to WIMS, which is a Forest Service product for telling the state of weather is transmitted to the Western Regional Climate Center for storage and distribution, and it's also transmitted to uh, Meso West, which is a product of the Forest Service and the University of Utah. Each customer is responsible for their own stations. For instance, we are responsible for all BLM stations, and we also have stations that are on a full ride or a modified contract, where our field groups will go out and actually maintain those stations. We also have what's called a depot contract, where we send the sensors out to a customer, and then they're responsible for maintaining their station. IROS is a portable ROS and I stands for incident. So we deploy these on any type of incident, whether it be a fire or any other type of natural or man-made disaster where we're called in. It basically has the exact same sensors as a permanent station, but they're at a lower level. So the winds are not going to be at a 20-foot level, they're only going to be at about maybe a seven to eight foot level. And other than that, it has the exact same sensors and they're easily deployable.